how to get your artwork out of Sketch and Draw, this is download your artwork from the app. So inside of Sketch or Draw, you can access your PSD and AI files, okay? Please note this will not work after January 10th, 2022. Again, this will not work after January 2022. So under the work um, section, you can see all of your projects. Here's all my artwork. Any single item, so if it's if it's a group right like this, you need to go into each single item and open it up. And up here at the top corner, this export option will allow you to export the artwork. They have several options. They can open it in a desktop app. They can make a link to the project. They can share an image or they can export as a PSD. Now, this is probably the option most people are going to want for sketch. Let me show you exactly the same thing in draw because it is exactly the same. Over here in draw, I go to work. Here is all my artwork. Now, again, if it's a two image project, you need to actually open the actual image and then go to export. And I can do the same. I can export an Adobe app if that's a choice I wanna use. I can export just an image or I can export as a PSD to Creative Cloud. And that will allow me to save out all of my files in highest quality so that I can continue working on my artwork. Again, this does not work after January 10th, 2022. You will not be able to sign in and you will not be able to access the page that actually shows all of your artwork. So um, this page right here, you won't be able to see this. So please note this option will expire. download a flat file from assets.adobe.com. Now make sure that you are logged in to your actual account, the correct account, and you should see three different things here in your files. Mobile creations is where you're gonna find your sketch and draw artwork. It will be all combined together. You see sketch project, draw project, etc. You can click into any single project and up here in the top corner, not only can you get a link, so that you could share it with other individuals. You can also click on these three dots and download the file. You get to choose JPG or PNG. Now this is the flat file. This does not have the layers, but this is an option for users to quickly access their artwork. convert individual files to Adobe Fresco. First off, know that this does not work for a user as a solution unless they can access Fresco. So the user needs to have iOS, either iPad or iPhone, or a Windows machine before this is gonna help them at all. Otherwise, this is a dead end if they don't have access to Fresco. So in Mobile Creations, we get to see all of our sketch and draw artwork, and any individual art piece of artwork um, like this one right here. In the three dots, we can click Convert to Fresco. It'll give you a toast that says it's starting to import the project. And let's actually go back so that you can see you've got this right here in the, in the lower corner that shows you where you're converting your files. And let's give it a minute while it converts this file. Please note that it's best if you're sorted by modified here because the new file is gonna pop up at the top. And so that's going to be helpful for the user to find the newly converted document. Now that it's actually imported, we're sorted by modified, right? So it put it in the sketch folder because it was a sketch document. So it put it in the sketch folder. And then right here, this first one right here, Mermaid 2018, that was the right one. And now I have these two documents from that project. But you should know it's not a real cloud document. So when I come out here, you see it says it's a Fresco document. And I want to show you what that looks like versus a real cloud document. Here, it says PSDC at the bottom instead of Fresco. The difference is the user needs to open this Fresco item in Adobe Fresco before it's a real cloud document. So there's nothing they can do but delete it. So this is not ideal for anybody who can't access it. Once this document's opened in Adobe Fresco, it becomes a real cloud document and they can actually do all the same actions that they can on other cloud documents here, but only after it is opened. And what I mean is most cloud documents will let you download them um, so that you can have the PSD, 
but this Adobe Fresco file will not let you download. They must open in Fresco the app, either Windows or iOS, before they can access the full layered file. what it looks like when you log in with the same Adobe ID into Fresco. So this is an ID that previously had sketch and draw documents, but is never logged into Fresco. So make sure that it's the same Adobe ID. You might get a couple of toasts like this, things like accepting um, the EULA and the mobile app usage, but you see in the top corner there, that blue toast tells you that they're importing the Adobe sketch or Adobe draw documents. You will get a notification when it's finished and you will see them show up in recent. But let me show you how to get to all of the work. Click on your work and click on cloud documents. And you're gonna see two of these folders here, one for sketch and one for draw. And then inside of each, every project will be inside of another folder. So there's gonna be a whole bunch of folders depending upon how many projects a user has. Again, you can use the folder icon to navigate between the folders, just like this one, up at Cloud Documents. And then here are all my Adobe Draw documents. And if I had more than one project, you would see multiple folders there.